Hello and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas on Nixus Gaming. When last we left off, we did some helping around the uh, Nellis Air Force Base, helping a couple, a few different boomers. We dealt with the ant problem in the main generator building, fixed the solar arrays on top. Those were quests for uh, Loyal and Raquel. Then we moved over and helped out Jack meet the love of his life who he had never met before, Janet from the Crimson Caravan Company. And now I think we're about ready to help out Pearl, the big leader, elder mother of the boomers. You have done well to earn the trust of my people, child. Well, uh, I think I've done everything I can. I believe the time has come for you to show your value in full. The people have come to accept having you around. Find loyal and ask him about our people's fondest dream. He will tell you what to do next. All right, so she's gonna point us right back at Loyal. And we're gonna go meet him, see what he wants to do. Now, if you remember the boomers, they have a dream of flying through the air. They found an intact plane. They just don't really know how to get it up out of the lake. So that's kind of what we're going to be helping them out with today. It's going to be pretty easy. We basically just go to the lake and we uh, bring it up and we come back here and we're pretty much done. Easy stuff, easy stuff. First we got to go in here and talk to Loyal. Who uh, seems to be over here, yep. Pearl sent word saying it's all right to tell you about the lady in the water. Lady in the water? What's that? A long time ago, long before the war that killed just about everything that ever lived, a bomber crashed not far from here. A bomber was a flying contraption that could drop explosives down on anything it flew over. But anyway, moving on. This bomber crashed down in Lake Mead, pretty damn near intact. When we got to Nellis, see, I found this article in a magazine all about it. There was another B-29 around here, part of a museum. Couldn't fly, but had a lot of spare parts, see? Get where I'm going? Since I was a young man, I've dreamed of raising that lady from the lake and bringing her back to life. What do you say? Well, uh, where is it located? It's at the bottom of Lake Mead. I'll mark its location on your Pip-Boy map. And how do you expect to raise a bomber from the bottom of a lake? Simple. Attach deployable ballast to the plane and float it on up. Here is a remote detonator. Once the ballast is attached to the plane, just hit the detonator from the shore and let buoyancy handle the rest. And if it's so simple, why haven't you done it? Maybe you don't understand. Hasn't been one of us, not a one, to set a foot outside Nellis in over 50 years. You come along with your knowledge of the outside, and it seems the time's come to raise the lady after all. Alright, I'm game. Good. Here's the deployable ballast. Go find the plane, attach the ballast, and hit the button. Any ideas on how I get to the bottom of the lake without drowning, though? Might try holding your breath. If that doesn't sound good enough, talk to Jack. He was working on a rebreather once. And the rebreather is definitely something that we're going to want to get. It is a very useful item. It'll come in handy through a few different points of the game. It would have come in handy in Vault 34, but we didn't have it at the time. So we're going to get it now. I've never been so happy in my entire life. Good for you, buddy. But Loyal said you can help me breathe underwater. I just need some parts from a pressure cooker to create a hermetic seal for the rebreather. Uh, corn silk, rubber hose, and removable adhesive would make a good hermetic seal. That's a brilliant idea. I can put that together right now. Here you go. A new rebreather. Easy as that. Now this rebreather is gonna let us breathe underwater Sorry, no for pretty much time. as long as we want. Which is definitely why you want to get it. It might come in handy to come here early and get that. But uh, we didn't do that, so oh well. So I'm trying to think. Easiest way to get there is probably going to be from Boulder City. 
So we might pass by the dam. If we're passing by the dam, I might pop in and get the snow globe from there. Which is actually going to be our last snow globe from the base game. And I can't think of a better opportunity to go to the dam and do that than now. So uh, yeah, a little bit of unexplored territory here. The dam, we're finally going to see it. The main reason the NCR and the Legion are fighting. Across the river there, you see the fort. Which is uh, Caesar's main base. And the main source of the Legion in New Vegas. But uh, yeah, as we walk down here. We'll see a little dock here, right? Am I going the right way? Where is... What? I'm so confused. I thought the dam was over here. No, the dam's back this way. I definitely want to go ahead and get that snow globe from the dam while we're here. Because it's just going to be so much easier. I believe it's like right on the front desk, the reception desk. And yeah, there should be a road to it from, from Boulder City here. If you remember, when we first approached Boulder City, we saw the signs talking about the dam. I thought it was that road, but I guess it's uh, on the other side here. Either way, it's going to be a nice location to have. We'll get a little bit of a view of the area where the uh, climax of the game is supposed to be. The big war for the dam, yes. If you didn't know, that's where the finale of the game is going to take place. Where the NCR and the Legion fight again. And where you just butt your head in. Is it through here? I guess it's through here. I don't know. Now I'm a little concerned I'm going the wrong way. I guess we'll uh, see. We'll see when we get there if it's the right way. Yeah, I think the road splits here. You can take that way to nowhere. Never mind. It just goes straight over there. Cool. I have no idea what I'm talking about, clearly. I'm sorry, guys. I am sorry. I forgot you could zoom in like that. Yep, Hoover Dam this way. Kind of a weird detour to make at this point in the game. But uh, like I said, we won't really get a chance to come here until the NCR already hates us. So uh, that's why I'm doing it now. There she is right there. That's the dam. And uh, as you approach, you're going to see more and more NCR soldiers about. And we're just going to walk straight into the front reception area here. We should be getting the uh, location pop up here in a second. Maybe. Maybe not. Okay, we'll just uh, go ahead and grab that then. Right here on the front desk, we got the Hoover Dam Snow Globe. And that does it for all the snow globes in the base game. Can we, uh, can we get a location marker for here, maybe? No, I guess not. I guess we don't get a location marker. But, uh, oh, there it is. There it is. So that's the main reason we came here, to get that. It might be easier just to jump into the lake from here. And go find that, uh... That crashed, uh, bomber plane. But before we do, we want to come in here. Put on our rebreather. That gives us water breathing. And, uh, are we going to be able to jump in from here? I hope so. I really hope so. I'm going to try. Looks like we can. Cool. Just jump right on in. And as you can see at the top there, our O2 meter is not going down at all. So we can just swim freely all we want. Our companions are going to get left behind because we kind of just jumped off a bridge. But, uh, oh man, can I get through here? Can I not get through here? We might have a problem. We might have a little bit of a problem getting through here. 
Okay, cool. So, uh, I guess I can't get through here anyway, so we'll have to go the other way. That was a little bit of a waste of time. Let's just go back to Boulder City, I guess. Alright, let's try this again. We got our snow globe. That's what we wanted, right? So, uh, yeah. Go this original way we were going. And let's just get this plane, guys. Let's get this plane for the boomers. Now, I can't remember. I think we might, uh... Yeah, things that go boom, that's the NCR quest. You have to convince the boomers to help the NCR. We aren't going to do that. We are not going to do that. We're just going to finish up Bolaire and we're going to leave the boomers be, I guess. I mean, we might convince them to help out in the war, but uh, we aren't going to turn in that NCR quest. Because that leads to complications with Legion reputation and, and Mr. House might get a little mad and we don't want to piss off those guys yet. Here we go, we are now in the lake where we are meant to be. You can see some fish swimming around. You want to kind of stay away from the shoreline if you can, because you're going to be seeing lake lurks swimming around there a whole lot. But I think it is just past these rocks here. You might be able to find some loot in these rocks. I can't remember. I think there's an interesting bit of loot somewhere in this lake but I can't remember where exactly it is so I'm not gonna look for it if I see it as I'm swimming around I might go for it but other than that I, I'm not worried about it and yeah just a peaceful peaceful swim through the water Still just looking around. You see tires around. You might see a wrecked uh, carriage somewhere. Or a truck. I can't remember what exactly it is. But uh, stuff has definitely been dumped in this lake over time. I'm surprised it's not radioactive at all. But as you see there, this is the plane coming into view. All we gotta do is we gotta swim up to the wings and attach these ballasts. Attach them somewhere. Somewhere. Do we attach it to the back? Man, it's a good thing I can breathe underwater because I have no idea where to put these things. Oh yeah, right there. Right there, I can't get to it from here. There we go. So we'll attach that. I think we attach one more to the other side of the plane. Attach that. And now we gotta head up to the shore here and use the uh, detonator to load it to the surface. Now you might want to be a little careful coming up to this building here. Because I believe there are some Cazadors flying around. And I don't think we've actually fought any Cazadors yet. So, uh, that's gonna be something new. You can always tell they're, uh, why am I frozen up here? Hello? I'm still recording, but my game is, uh, locked up just a little bit. Give me a second, guys. Let me figure this out. Alright, and I'm back guys, sorry about that. So I had to reload the game, it put me all the way back at Boulder City. So I came back here and reapplied the ballast. While I was on my way, I did uh, discover this Boulder Beach campground. There's nothing too important there. So I didn't start the video back there, but now we are back on land. As you get close here, Loyal's detonator is gonna start beeping. And that means this this is where you want to activate it so it should be in your weapons here go ahead and equip it pull it out and use it and 
and after a very loud noise the plane is up now pretty quickly you're gonna want to take out your weapon of choice and we're gonna go take out these Cazadors over here because there are a couple of things we want from in this building here this is Colville Bay bunch of Cazadors, nothing too serious. And I think what we want is going to be in this building here. Inside the boat rentals building. And you do have some rats in here. But uh, let's see. First one is going to be, you got a uh, safe here you can unlock. If you really want to get some bottle caps, some pre-war money, other stuff. Yeah, the first one is going to be next to this cash register. Got a star bottle cap. More stuff in the register. The second one is going to be... It should be on a shelf here. One of these, I think, is going to be a star bottle cap. Yep, right there. We got two star bottle caps here. So take them if you want. I am going to talk to Lily real quick. See if we have any progression in her side thing. Are you serious? Uh, are you serious? Did you just lock up again? I will be right back, guys. And we're back once again. Thankfully, it started me right here in the building. There's nothing Lily has to say to us. I grabbed the two star bottle caps and we are done here and ready to go back. Yeah, I guess uh, New Vegas just isn't liking me tonight. So I'm going to try and get this done a bit quickly. See if I can figure out what's going on. Now that we have that, uh, that plane raised from the lake, we can go back and talk to Loyal. Looks like he's a... Uh, not in the hangar right now. He might just now be coming from his house here. So we'll uh, go ahead and grab him while he's doing that. There he is. It's going to be a dream come true once you've raised that bomber from Lake Mead. Your plan worked. The plane floated up. Seemed to be intact. That's tremendous. I'll transmit instructions to the robots to start packing up the plane to bring it back to Nellis. How exactly do you plan to get the plane back here? I just told you, the robots are going to handle it. They'll break the plane down into pieces and move it up from Colville Bay in one shot. Are you planning to use diversionary tactics to draw their attention? Exactly. We'll be shelling an unoccupied location in outer Vegas to get their attention elsewhere. By the time they realize they aren't under attack, the plane and the bots will be long gone. The kids wish we were shelling a real target. Pearl thinks it's wise not to start up a war, just as the lady has risen. Well, I'm glad to have helped. Hey, I better get rolling. Jack and I have a lot of work ahead of us. And now we return to Pearl and let her know it is all taken care of. And that's going to pretty much finish up all the stuff we have to do with the boomers today. I'm gonna, after that, I'm gonna run around here and grab a few various pieces of loot. And then I'll make my way to our next destination. Where is Pearl? There she is. Hello, friend. How can Mother Pearl be of help today? I've spoken to Loyal. The B-29 is on the way. What you have done for us is a miracle, child. You have fulfilled the only dreams we ever had outside our walls. You are a trusted friend of us all. If there is ever a way for us to help you, child, tell me, and I will make it so. Well, uh, there may be a battle in the near future at the Hoover Dam. Can you offer any assistance? Of course, my child. After all that you have done for us, we would love to help you in the upcoming battle. After all the training and virtual reality, the young ones would relish an opportunity to put their skills to battle. We'll be there when you need us. 
Bye. All right, so uh, we now have the boomers supporting us. They're not going to support the NCR. They're going to support us. And we're going to go around and get a few different things of loot here. Where, where'd Pearl go? Hello. So uh, I thought at that point I'd be able to freely take some stuff from around here. But uh, I guess not. So I'm probably going to have to steal a few things. We definitely want to grab these two. That key is going to be important for Vault 34 when we need to go back there and grab something. Our next thing is going to be a... It should be up here somewhere. I'm not seeing it though. Oh, there it is. Right there. A duck and cover book. And next, we're going to go on over to the workshop for something else a little bit more important. It'll be important for a later quest when we meet the Legion. Yep, we are going to do some quests for the Legion because uh, there's something that I want from them. It's going to be in the workshop here. I think it'll be back here in the tool cabinet. No. Gun cabinet? Yes, the howitzer firing mechanism. Now we are losing karma for this. I'm not too worried about it. The last thing, one of the last things we want is in Loyal's house. He has a Dean's Electronics here. Next, we're going to head on over to the mess hall, and there should be two Sunset Sarsaparilla Star Bottle Caps for us. We're going to try and make that push to the 50 Bottle Caps that we need. We have how many? How many do we have? Miscellaneous. We have 39. This will set us at 41. And there's going to be a few more places along the road here that will... Uh, be getting more. Is this the mess hall? No, this is the hangar. I think the northern hangar is the mess hall, yes. So they're just gonna be on some of the tables here in the mess hall, so we're gonna have to take a careful look around. I, I think I saw one there. Yep, one there, and one there. Those are our two star bottle caps. I'm trying to think here. I think that is everything for the boomers here. So let's go ahead, come into our items, go into aid. We'll read that, and we will read that duck and cover there. Do we have any others we can read? We do not. All right, so let's get on out of here. We are done with the boomers. Now... The only two other kind of major factions that we have to meet for Yes Man are the Brotherhood of Steel and the Great Cons. I think the Great Cons are going to be next for us. No, I mean, I think the Brotherhood of Steel is going to be next for us. And they're going to be down here in Hidden Valley. So we're going to work our way down this road here. But first, let's, uh, let's go to the Strip and sell these snow globes see how much money we can get for them and like I said there's gonna be a few stops I think that I think that might have been one of her triggers I'm not sure I know I keep checking her that's because I don't like having her as a companion and I want to get that done No, nothing still? Still nothing. Okay. Well. Oh, well. I'll, I might look up after this episode what her other trigger is. Because I'm really not sure at this point. 
At first I thought it was when she uh, mentions her medicine, but that didn't do anything. And then I thought it was uh, when she mentions Leo, which she just did, but uh... But uh, she didn't have anything for that mention, so... That might not be it, so let's go ahead and come up here and sell these snow globes. Get another 4,000 caps. How many caps was it for the uh, for our last implant? 12,000, I think? I believe Wait, it was 12,000. I don't think we'll have enough for it yet. But we're definitely getting up I there. I bet those boomers have some awfully big guns. Yeah, let's uh, sell these snow globes. You do? Why, well, that's just wonderful. I'll take them and put them with the rest of the collection. All right. So that's all our snow globes there. How much money do we have? We have 6,400. We're uh, halfway there to that last implant. Let's uh, go ahead and go to our presidential suite and we'll check out our currently complete snow globe collection. Look at that. That is looking nice. Looking very nice. This shelf up here is going to be used for the DLC snow globes, I believe. So don't worry about that. And yeah, let's go ahead and get on the road to our next location. Make sure to uh, have your companions follow you again, as always, so they don't just get stuck here. And let's go. We're not going to go straight to the Brotherhood of Seal. We'll make a small detour. And uh, we're going to revisit an old faction that we met at the beginning of the game, actually. I might have to do some avoiding here and there to make it past them, because I don't want to piss off more of them. I want to get to this little area and, uh, and see if I can... Sorry, I'm losing my train of thought. See if I can do the quest there and get more fame for them so they won't attack me on sight. Which is going to be fun to try and do. Now, I am going to warn you. This area does tend to have some death claws in it. So you want to be just a little cautious walking through here. We do have some travelers right up here. A red dot over there. That's going to be another location we go to before the Brotherhood of Steel. We got just a bunch of... Boomers walking around way out here and some fire ants. I don't know why there are just kid boomers walking around out here, but uh, there are, there definitely are. I think as you approach this stop here, you're going to start to see the death claws. So I'm going to go ahead and quick save here. Hopefully I can deal with death claws at this point. Hopefully. I guess we're about to find out, right? Because I see a lot of red on the map. I see them right over there too. Oh, look at them. They're all up there. I'm going to try and just sneak up here, get up here. Um, Grab the... Grab the star bottle cap right there. That is what we came here for. And now I'm going to back away from this area slowly. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I hear gunshots. That's not us. That is not us. It's coming from over there. That's another location we want to avoid for now. We want to avoid fighting with those red dots. Because those are powder gangers. That's right, the next area we're going to is another powder ganger area. And I don't want to get more infamy with them than I already have. I want to try and build fame with them so I can do another quest in a different location. Well, we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes though. Just kind of worm our way around these guys. So we don't have to fight them. 
think there's going to be more in that farmstead there. Oh, that's a death claw. Those are death claws there. We definitely uh, want to back up from there. We'll try and cut around here, maybe? I think our location is right in this area that we're going for, so... Maybe if we worm around this household, I can see the death claws walking around in the distance over there. That is kind of unsettling. But uh, yeah, just make your way around. Try not to anger any of the powder gangers. In fact, I'm going to quick save here in case I do anger them. I'll reload here and try and get around a different way. We're going to try, this next area we're going to is actually a vault controlled by the Powder Gangers, except these ones are a little special. They aren't instantly hostile to you if the uh, other Powder Gangers don't like you. I don't know what this is. What is this? Is this another? Oh god, oh god, oh god. looks like uh looks like they may have started combat with us hopefully that didn't earn us any infamy no i don't think it did cool i like that i oh jesus got an explosion over there so yeah, that didn't earn us any infamy, I don't think. I didn't see any messages pop up on the top left there, which is nice. I'd still rather not risk it more than I have to, so we're just going to continue on our way here to our next stop. I think it's just in here, in this parking lot. Yeah, I know, right? This is a vault. This is an entrance to a vault. Vault 19. And we're going to head in there next episode. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.